All right, we're finally back. And I do have a fresh build. It is not my build. It's my uncle's build. He wanted to build a, a budget CQB gun for his house or, you know, things like that. Uh, something that he can clear rooms with and do it on a budget. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. I'll show the, the parts as we're going. Um, and I'll just tell you that the upper and lower receiver, the lower receiver is a Spikes Tactical Receiver. Uh, the upper receiver is a Bravo Company. All mil spec parts in the lower receiver, uh, triggers, mil spec, everything else, it's arrow stuff, mil spec stuff. Um, so let's get into it. We got a little fold in stock. Uh, it's not a law tactical, it's a Sylvan Sylvan Arms folder that we're gonna throw in there. A few other things, I'll go over them as, as we're going, but let's uh let's build his gun. He's uh waiting for this thing. He's he's been kinda um I wouldn't say stashing money here and there, but he's been he you know, he bought a can, he bought some other stuff, so uh, finally you know, finally gave me the money to finish the build. So um, we're ready, today's the day, and we're gonna get into it. So the thing that I hate the most is, well, maybe not the most, but it's been a real pain in my side a few times, and that is putting on the dust cover. So let's go ahead and do that and uh, get that pain and suffering out of the way. too bad. This is going to be a Magpul grip. I had this one. Uh, I donated a few parts to this build just because because uh, I wanted to. It's my uncle. He does a lot for me so I uh, felt like I needed to give back a little bit. You know what I mean? And I just enjoy building guns in general. So figure the closer, the quicker I can get him to his gun, then I can mess with it. You know what I mean? This is always the fun part. Grip his own. Might have been the easiest one I've ever done. Let's see, let's go ahead and do this, uh, do this folder. So, like I said, Sylvan Arms folder. Uh, I'm sure you've seen these online before. Um, obviously the Law Tactical is top of the line. But this one ain't bad. And this is a budget build, so um, that's what we're going to be using. I had this in, uh, in my drawer, so another donation to the cause. And we're just using, uh, like I said, the Aero Precision Lower Parts Kit. And this has one of the, kind of like those, uh, enhanced buffer tubes. I don't know if you've seen them on, like Aero Precision has them. I don't know who else has them, but it has like the the hole that the uh, the pin goes in, so it gives you a nice stopping point right there. Lock in. Get that buffer tube in there. Now this also has a stopping point on it as well. right there so. so we did have a uh, I had a 
SB brace for this, but it did not come in in time. Uh, I guess maybe because of the holiday, being Memorial Day and all. Uh, it won't be here until Tuesday. But we do have this guy that's been sitting up on the shelf forever. We're just going to throw that on there so we can shoot it, test it out. But it will not stay on it. So, um, ATF, get off my ass. H2, buffer weight and spring in place. So we got a uh, Brownells bolt carrier group. Never run Brownells, but I hear that their bolt carrier group is pretty good. So we are going to run it. And we have a Radian ambidextrous charge handle. You know all about those. Those are top tier, I guess you would say. I run them in there and everything. If it's not a Radian, it's a Geisley or something like that. Either way you go. Good to go. So we are running a Ballistic Advantage 10.3 barrel and a Midwest Industries nine and a quarter handguard. I guess it come out pretty nice. A little bit of the barrel hanging out be cool because he is going to run a uh, can on here so we don't want it tucked completely into the, uh, the handguard. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this barrel nut on there. Get this dude taken care of. The arrow shell. Stuff. bad oh yeah that's good length just sticking out that's cool I like it hope he likes it I'm sure he will. Why wouldn't you, right? Pretty cool little gun. Reminds me of my little nine inch. All right. Got a little paint on there. Break it up a little bit. Nah, nothing crazy, but I do like uh, to add a little bit to a gun. So let's uh, finish this thing up. These irons on here. Front sight. Huh, so that's kind of cool. Comes uh, Comes mounted on a uh, pick rail in the package. It's wild. Good mag tool getting all fancy with their shit. But 
right, and this is as far back as possible, which is the ideal spot. And let's do the optic. Cool. Hollis and optic, red dot. Over to Magwell. Well, that's it. I think it turned out all right. Have a cool gun. Hopefully he's happy with it. I'd imagine he would be. Make sure that this. Oh yeah. Well, hopefully uh, we are going to be doing a lot more gun stuff here in the near future. So if you have not subscribed, do that because we're going to have some other stuff coming down the pipe, a few other builds. And like I said, I'm going to do that uh, and we'll start reacting to uh, gun collection videos because the few that I've seen boy I mean I'm not perfect by any means and I'm not a gun expert but some of the stuff that I see I'm really wondering what the hell's going on out there um, and you know I'll uh, I'll throw them a like depending on how their uh, how their guns are I may sub to them but uh, more than likely I will comment and say something you know maybe some sort of advice, whether they see it or not, or they take it, I don't know, but I'm gonna do something positive out of it, right? Um, so yeah, look look for that, but uh, like the video. Like the video if you like my uncle's budget CQB gun. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments. We will see y'all on the next one.